Hi, my beautiful Scorpios, and welcome to Arcana Priestess. So for those of you that are new, welcome. And if you are returning, I'm so glad to have you guys back. It's been a while. All right, Scorpio. So show me what Scorpio needs to see. This is going to be for the rest of September and the first half of October. Show me what Scorpio needs to see, please. All right, Scorpio. Starting off with the Seven of Swords, and we have Justice, and then we have the Five of Wands. Okay, this is definitely somebody else's energy popping in really quickly here, Scorpio. So what I see here, somebody that had done you wrong, they're coming in to make justice. They want to make things right. This is somebody that wants you back, somebody from your past, somebody who was possibly selfish, um, I'm getting a couple different things. This could have been somebody that was just very selfish. You know, they weren't really thinking of you when they made decisions. Um, others of you, this could have been somebody who lied. There could have been a third party situation. And for others of you, this is ultimately somebody that, you know, you don't really realize what they've done because they haven't really shared it. And it's just that they've held their feelings back. And at the end of the day, this ended up making things very complicated between the two of you. This could have been somebody that you felt like you were chasing, someone that you felt like, you know, they were never gonna love you back the same way. It's, I, but I feel like there's this energy where you knew that this person had these feelings for you, but because they weren't saying anything, because they weren't doing anything, it was really hard for you to, you know, to push through. I see that this person has been arguing with themselves over and over again, trying to figure out what to do, trying to figure out how to get you back, how to win you back. Is there even a possibility? Because it seems like for those of you that have been in separation from this person, that you're focused on yourself right now. Like you're focused on yourself, you're doing amazing, and this person seems to be a mess. I feel like the problem here for some of you is that you deserve better. But then also for some of you, you know that you deserve better, but you want this person. The heart really wants what it wants. And when a Scorpio gets fixated on someone, it takes a lot for them to fully be done and over with. So for a lot of you guys, I don't think that this is a situation that you're over. I think that even if, you know, you really, really don't want to take this person back, it might take some time for them to prove themselves to you. But I think that for a lot of you, this cycle isn't over. I feel like for some of you guys, it barely has even begun here. So for a lot of you guys in the next five days, you can expect some communication. For some of you guys though, this is going, if it doesn't happen in the next five days, then what you're going to see is communication coming around the middle of um, October here. And I feel like for some of you, this is some sort of offering, some sort of exchange. Let's see what else we can get here. Ten of Swords here. Yeah, it's like this person, they have so much burden. Like they are realizing that as much as it was a burden for them to express their feelings to you, as much as it made them feel scared, as much as it made them feel, this person may even have a fear of commitment or just a fear of being hurt. But I feel like they're now realizing that like them holding themselves back was also affecting you now. And for some reason, it seems like they were okay with, you know, affecting themselves, but there's, they're not okay with affecting you. They're not okay with hurting you. They're not okay with you not knowing how they feel. So even if you decide like, I'm done, I never want to speak to you again, because for some of you with the 10 of swords, what was done, like at the end of the day, like you'll be grateful that, that they apologize. You'll be grateful. Um, and I feel like this is more for those of you where this was like cheating or third party situation. Um, some of you guys, there was like a secret third party situation and then you had recently found out or you'd always assumed, but this person never admitted it. And now they're going to be like telling you the, the truth about what's going to happen here. This seems very dramatic, Scorpio. Um, so, you know, you probably went through a lot. Some of you guys may just want to like take a minute, you know, take a deep breath. Um, because I feel like there's just been so much chaos. And even if it's not chaos between the two of you guys, there's just a lot of chaos wrapped in your head about the situation no closure whatsoever here so very very intense i i really wasn't expecting this today i really actually thought we were going to get more of a career and finance reading um but this is what's coming out here with the eight of wands here yeah you can expect um some serious communication here i feel like especially if you had made the decision like re regardless of if you told this person or not but recently you just took your energy back you 
this person felt that they felt that really strongly and so they're coming in very hot and heavy in order to give you some communication to to let you know where they're coming from and the thing is is for a lot of you if they had let you know where they were coming from from the beginning then none of this would have happened yes you would have been moving slow but you would have been doing it together rather than separately you know they wouldn't have made you feel like one minute they're in and the next minute they're completely on another wavelength and so for some of you, I think that when this person tells the truth, it is really going to hit hard. Some of you, this is something related to childhood trauma, something related to parents, their parents, uh, really deep rooted. And this is something that they haven't shared with anybody. And for others of you, this is something that's related to one of the first three relationships that this person had been in. Um, the thing is, is that you're the first person that this person's actually cared enough about to open up because this is somebody who decided that they were just going to shut themselves off emotionally and they were just going to go through life living like that which is not a good thing but some people when they get hurt they make that decision right i think a lot of you scorpios might have been there at one point in time so i think that in some way shape or form like you're kind of going to resonate with the, this person's story and it's just going to be a little bit annoying because like again if they had shared it from the beginning maybe you would have shared your story as well and you would have had some amazing insight as to how you healed yourself from that and that would have helped this person to heal them and i feel like you guys could have been friends during that process of hot and cold instead of just you know them being all over the place with their emotion We have the hangman yeah these are things that this person has been holding holding in for a very long time here i think that you've helped inspire this person to look at the world differently i think that you've made them feel free you've made them feel safe and you you've shown them so much love like you know this person for a lot of you they put you through the ringer and regardless you always showed them so much respect you always showed them so much love you never really stooped to their level um and, oh for some of you i'm hearing until recently right maybe until recently that was it i'm hearing somebody put their foot down somebody said enough is enough and maybe you did a complete flip the way that they had been doing and so for once they got a taste of their own medicine we have the two of swords here learning to listen between their heart and their head knowing that at the end of the day no matter how much they try to keep this to themselves it's hurting them it's hurting them because something really wants them to open up to you it's like the universe is pushing them to open up to you there's this strong regardless of how long it's been since you guys have talked this person they're always like wrapped in your energy completely I'm hearing since the first time you guys touched, you have been wrapped in each other's energy. The Eight of Cups. You help this person to seek out their own independence, to look with, to look deep within themselves and ask themselves, well, why am I like this? Well, why do I do this? How can I stop this? How can I become whole? This is somebody who needs to work on loving themselves more. You walking away enlightened them. For some of you, again, it wasn't walking away. It was something that you said specifically, but whatever it was that you said, it really hit this person and it hit them hard. And you will always hold a very special place in this person's heart, regardless of how things end off with you guys. You'll always hold a special place in their heart because, because of this. So what is the next, what is this person's like next step? Like, what are they planning then? The Ace of Pentacles, they want to start, they want to start fresh. They want to offer you a form of commitment that wasn't offered there before, regardless of if you were already committed, there was a part of themselves that they were holding back and they want to offer that part to you. I'm hearing, will you accept? They will work for it. They will. They're not expecting to just pick up where you left off. They know that they have to prove themselves to you and they are 100% willing to do this. So they want a fresh start. If you weren't getting commitment before, then this is simply just commitment. But if you were, then this is just a deeper level. It's like, I am, I am allowing my, I'm allowing you inside my heart. I'm allowing my, I'm allowing myself to give me to you. The queen of swords. They're just going to like, you're not going to expect this. They're just going to word vomit. I mean, they're going to plan this out because this is an overthinker. They're going to plan this out to the T, but it's not going to work like that. They're going to literally word vomit all over you. <laughs> 
and um, just, 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 just don't say anything until you know for sure that this person has said everything that they need to say. Because for some of you, this person who is very closed off is suddenly going to be saying an hour worth of, you know, just all the things that they had held back, all the things that they had experienced. It's like, once they get talking, that's the thing. They just have to get talking. Once they get talking, they're never going to be able to stop. And you're going to love that side of them. You're going to love that version of them. You're going to love the the way that this person, you know, once was able to wear their heart on their sleeve, how they're going to be able to tap back into that. And so just allow them to speak. Just take it in. You know, let them know that you're listening without speaking, just through your 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 gestures with your hand with your head right a little rub on the back whatever it is but just let them get it all out no matter how much you want to respond and then when it's your turn respond but i think that if this person gets cut off they will easily just like leave it there even if there is more to say five of pentacles They're also going to let you know how hard it was to focus when it comes to work, when it comes to the things in their day-to-day -day life. It almost seemed like it kind of crumbled when you when you left. And it wasn't like such an exaggeration of like, oh, my, my life was horrible. Without you, no, it, it's really just simply down to the fact that like, until they worked this out, it was very clear to them that until they worked this out, nothing was really going to go the way that they wanted to because this was holding them back. It, it really did have them in, in like, a, um, like a chokehold. And so I think what this person is planning on doing is coming towards you, letting them know, letting you know everything, getting you caught up, telling you that they want to work things out, that they want to commit, and that they want to be serious. But then I also feel like they're going to give you some time. Like they don't want you to respond right away. And I think if, even if you do, they're going to still give you some time. They're going to give you some time where you guys aren't talking, where you can take in everything that they've said fully and then make up your mind. Because a lot of the things that they're saying, it's things that they still have to heal from so that it's not that when you guys get back together, it's gonna to be perfect. There's obviously gonna be work that needs to be done, but they wanna give you a chance to, you know, make the decision without the pressure of them just saying all of that. And you get to decide, like, is this something that you wanna take on? Is this worth it to you? And if not, then that's perfectly fine, right? I don't think that they're expecting you to, but they're hoping that you do. So, Whew, that is a lot. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to leave it there, Scorpio. Um, and um, I'm going to do another reading. Because I feel like this was just one person that just has been wanting to... Some of you, maybe this person is blocked. Or again, I think maybe just their throat chakra is blocked. Um, they're blocking themselves. Many, many different reasons here. But there's just this person specifically needed to, you to hear this. And... And so I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm not going to tap into any of the other energies. But the next reading that I do for you guys, I am going to make it a little bit more general based because that's kind of what I thought was going to come out today. But, you know, you always get shocked once you start pulling the cards where, this, where the story ends up going. So I hope that this resonates. Let me know in the comments how it resonates. And I wish you guys a beautiful rest of this month and beginning of October. Talk to you guys soon. Take care.